Hello again and welcome back. I am Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum with another streaming recommendation. On Mondays, we've been focusing on recommendations of titles that have shown at the Nitrate Picture Show in the past on Nitrate Prints. And today we're going to go back two years into the past to the fourth edition of the festival in 2018, which also happened to be the centennial year of Ingmar Bergman. He was born in 1918, celebrating his 100th birthday in 2018. And our print that came directly from Finland and our colleagues at the National Audiovisual Institute there was 1951 Summer Interlude. It's generally accepted that uh, Bergman's big breakout film was in 1953 with Summer with Monica. So a lot of the assessment that we do uh, of his first decade of filmmaking, he had been writing scripts for probably a decade before that and had been directing for more than five years before Summer with Monica came out, uh, is is in retrospect. So there's not a lot of contemporaneous appreciation for uh, the film uh, when we're looking back on it. Uh, there was, however, at least one person who had an eye on this film back in 1951 was released. It's actually Jean-Luc Godard, when he was reviewing the film, called it the most beautiful picture in the world. And that is according to uh, Gunnar Fescher's uh, cinematography. So you can only imagine what it looked like on a nitrate print. Uh, a wonderful print and a wonderful experience. Now, this is a film about a ballerina. She's 28 at the start of the film. And she is, as we know, that's near the end of a ballerina's career. And she gets a diary, which stirs up a whole bunch of memories on her final rehearsal of Swan Lake before uh, she goes on and possibly retires after that. This sends her back 13 years into the past uh, during a summer where she was uh, out in the country and uh, having a vacation. There she meets a young man named Henrik, and they fall in love, and they have a, a wonderful experience. Of course, as a Bergman film, there there are tragedies uh, and um, sadnesses and things to get over. But there's also a wonderful animated sequence uh, as part of this, as well as they are uh, looking through a book. Um, Bergman himself looked back on this as opposed to extemporaneously, contemporaneously. And uh, he had a quote. I'll, I'll read it to you because it is very specific to him and it is very personal. He said that this film, uh, Summer Interlude, uh, was my first film in which I felt I was functioning independently with a style of my own, making a film on my own. So this was really it, based on... Uh, Bergman's own assessment, um, the start of what we consider to be an Ingmar Bergman film now. It's a wonderful film, and I think you should go back and watch it. It's currently streaming on the Criterion channel, and we hope that you come back for another recommendation. Thanks.